Well, in other news related to this, the U.S. military has struck two facilities in eastern Syria used by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and affiliated groups. This is according to the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. The strikes were ordered by President Joe Biden. He added that the strikes were a response to a series of ongoing and mostly unsuccessful attacks against the U.S. personnel in Iraq and Syria that began on October 17th. And according to a senior U.S. official, the strikes took place at roughly 4.30 p.m. local time on Friday near Abu Kamal, a Syrian town on the border of Iraq. They were carried out by two F-16 fighter jets using precision munitions. The strikes in Syria follow a direct warning from President Joe Biden to Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini against striking the U.S. troops. As tensions soar over the Israel-Hamas conflict, U.S. and coalition troops have been attacked at least 19 times in Iraq and in Syria by Iran-backed forces in the past week. A total of 21 U.S. personnel have suffered minor injuries, the vast majority of them traumatic brain injuries. Since then, the U.S. has significantly increased its military presence in West Asia. The Pentagon is sending its Patriot missile defense systems while also repositioning its Eisenhower strike group. The U.S. says it has built up its, uh, its buildup is aimed at preventing a wider regional crisis. Its Navy will have a carrier strike group off the shore of Israel. The Ford Carrier Strike Group and the Eisenhower Strike Group. The move is also seen as the U.S. preparing for a potential ground offensive into Gaza by Israel.